that's cool. That's cool. Shield stopper. It's kind of cool. Ferris wheel. How's it going, Bass and friends? This is Mr. Bass, and I've got a little unboxing for you today, or unbagging. I got a haul in from a shopping trip I took to Shields in uh, the area where I live. If you've never heard of Shields, they're kind of a regional place similar to uh, like a Cabela's. But uh, they got great stuff. Okay, fishing season's coming up. And so one of the things that uh, I was looking for is head protection, sun protection. And this one from Huck, Hook, 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 yeah, Hook, from Hook. Uh, I like it because it's uh, got a lot of vents. It's light colored, it'll reflect the sun well. It's very light and you can wad it up and put it in a pocket and take it with you wherever you go real easy. So I got that and then I was also looking for kind of a more substantial sun hat. The reason I decided to go with this one is because this brim up here is stiff and it's unlike any other floppy hat out there. The back and sides are floppy, but the, but the top isn't. And they say that's good to keep it in place and all that stuff. And when you're driving down the lake, it doesn't blow up you know, which is fine, but I always take my hat off when I'm driving down the lake, so that's not a big deal. But to me, that this is where this turns out to be a big deal because I'm always filming when I'm fishing. And these, this to me is one of the best ways to work a GoPro and fish. Summer fishing hats or fishing shirts. This is it. These are great. Gotta, can never have enough of these shirts. Keep you cool and protect you from the sun. But this is the Spro Rock Crawler. And these were designed by Mike McClellan, who is an incredible Ozark angler. He does really well at Table Rock almost every tournament he ever fishes there. And just really knows the Ozark type lakes. And he's created a crankbait that is kind of designed off of the original wiggle warts. He's put his own flair spin on it. They work fantastic. And this is my favorite color in the uh, Spro Rock Crawler. This is called Missouri Craw. Excellent lure. Okay, and then uh, this is the Savage Cicada, which I think is interesting. It's a topwater lure and is very strange. And because it's different and strange, I want to try it. And then I wasn't too terribly interested in this, but Lunker Hunt makes some good stuff. And this is their Yappa series. They make Yappa frogs and Yappa rats and other Yappa things, but they must not be selling very well because these were half price at Shields. So this is a Yappa rat and I'll take it out of the package so you can just kind of see what it looks like up close. It's basically like a hollow body frog. Has a little single tail where the, the frog usually has a tail, you know, has two legs and it's got a cup on it. And they say the uh, trick to these Yappa lures is that they walk the dog. This cup on the front of them makes them so that they can walk the dog. So I've never tried them before. It's a new concept. So I thought I would give it a go. 
the Yappa Rat. The rest of the things I got are soft plastics. I love the Rage Tail soft plastics. They are great. And these are the Rage Tail chunks. I'll take one out so that you can see what the chunk looks like in full view. Now, what kind of makes Rage Tail famous are these big honking claws. They have these claws with with a with a ridge on both sides of the claw on all of their lures that have claws for the most part. That's what the chunk looks like. Looks pretty good. That color there is hard candy. A green pumpkin. Summer craw. Black Blue Flake. Blue Craw. And California Craw. They also had uh, Rage Craws on sale, so I bought three colors that I don't currently have. Dirty Craw closer view of what Dirty Craw looks like. This green Pumpkin Pearl. This one you can see pretty good through the package. Then there's Green Pumpkin Sapphire. And that's it on the Rage Craws. Next to one I got is the Rage Menace. This may be one of the most versatile, awesome baits that Rage Tail makes. The Menace is a great pitching and flipping bait on its own. You can swim it. You can also use it as a trailer. It's superb. So that's the four inch size. One is the Rage Toad. This is green pumpkin chartreuse. You can see how the belly has a chartreuse on the belly. And this is not a Rage bait, but it's a Strike King bait. The KVD Perfect Plastics Ned Ocho. Now, if you're familiar, familiar with uh, Strike King baits, the Ocho, of course, is like a Cinco, but it has flat sides. So this is just a short Ocho to put on a Ned rig. But I think it will, I am confident it will work extremely well on the Ned rig. In fact, this uh, Ned Ocho is a little different than a regular Ocho. A regular Ocho just has flat sides. This has like ribs on two, uh, two sides or four of the flat sides, I guess, if you will. So the other thing is they had a bunch of uh, cream lures on sale. Now, you may or may not know much about cream lures, but cream lures, they've been around forever. They've kind of rebranded and they're trying to make themselves appeal to the, um, the money savvy conscious fishermen. I'll show you the ones I bought. Cream lures has this new logo. It's the same thing. Why pay more for the same thing? And in a lot of ways, it does make sense. So this is a flipping bait, a creature, or um, not a creature, but a beaver type bait. And they call it the four inch beaver. And this color is Tattoo You. So I got a Tattoo You and I got an Okeechobee color. All right. I also got a creature bait. And this is watermelon. 
That'd be the same as a baby brush hog. Then they had some curly tail worms or ribbon tail worms. Seven inch ribbon tail worm. This is pumpkin chartreuse. You can kind of see the. And this is watermelon red. Then they have a craw. It's called the craw. The 3.75 inch craw. And I got two colors black neon. Watermelon red. Then I got a pack of their soft jerk baits, and they call it the jerk bait. And this, of course, is an excellent color, white ice. If you're going to throw a fluke or a soft jerk bait, can't go wrong with that color if you're looking for shad. And then I got some trick worms, basically, is what these are, um, similar to Zoom trick worms. They just call it the straight tail, six and a half inches. This is green pumpkin. And this is watermelon. And then finally, the last thing I got is their version of the Cinco. And they just call it the stick. It's stick bait. Five inches, which is the exact same size as the Yamamoto original Cinco. This is green pumpkin. And this is June bug. So is it the same thing? I bought these to find out and I'm gonna do a separate video where I compare the cream lures, the cheap lures to the expensive guys. And I'll break them out and show them to you and feel them and look, compare the colors and let you know what I think that way. And then uh, at some point, I will fish these lures side to side and see how that goes as well to see if it's really the same thing. So that was my trip to Shields, and I hope you uh, found this uh, informative. If you like this kind of video, please let me know. If you know about these lures or any of the other ones and like to share with us what you know about them, that would be great too. So until then, happy fishing. See you later. So here's something, the Lunker Hunt Yappa series. I haven't seen these. They're on like half price on sale, so they must not be selling. Might try some of these. The Yappa Rat. Looks like a popping rat. Okay, here's something sale cream lures it's the same thing i think i'll buy some cream lures and compare with other baits and see if i really think it's the same thing they're definitely cheaper that's something to always keep in mind if you can find the same thing or better for cheaper you should do it